Well, there is Tyson Gay. He goes in this second semi-final. Right up alongside him, though, is Justin Gatlin. This is some clash. Yeah, it really is. And the reason Gatlin is in this semi-finals because he didn't win his heat. But Tyson Gay, 9.86 on the 4th of May in Kingston. That remains the world's fastest time. But Justin Gatlin right behind him at 9.91. Gatlin recently defeated Bolt, the Olympic champion at 100 meters in Rome. Let's take a quick look at the lanes. So, second semi-final then. Tyson Gay goes in lane five in the yellow. Bolt uh, Dix, uh, of course, going out injured in that first semi. Justin Gatlin goes in six. Gatlin third from right. Gay in the yellow. And G Gay moving through very strongly now. Gay moving through in the second half. He's such a strong runner. He's beaten Gatlin comfortably there. That's a one and a half meter margin of victory of the winning time. 9.75, the win limit just over the uh, permissible limit. T plus 2.4, the win speed. But uh, that time is encouraging. Boy, oh boy, if they can just get a sensible gust for the final. We're going to see fireworks here later on in the Drake Stadium. 9.75 for Gay, but more importantly, he beats uh, Gatlin very comfortably. After looking at this semi-final, Tim, I don't think anybody has an answer for the strength of Tyson Gay. There's Gay on the left, Gatlin on the right, five and six. Now, Gatlin gets a better start. He's a better drive phaser. He comes up. But look at the strength of Tyson Gay. He goes right by everyone, including Gatlin, and then backs off at the end and runs 9.75. There's not that much of a win. And you see him jamming on the brakes before he hits that pad at the end to break his momentum. So Gay very comfortably through. I actually think, yeah, you see what happens there at the end. But Gay is definitely the favorite. That is going to be some final. Tyson Gay looking unbeatable. Let's not forget he's the second fastest man in history. Gatlin, Rogers, Young, Silman, Salam, Locke and Kimmons all through to the final. Well, let's go down to Dwight Stones. He's on the infield with more.